Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource channel. In different video on this channel I showed you how to diagnose problem with the Honda Mover which didn't want to start. In this video you can watch me repairing the problem and making sure that that Mover will start again even if it will sit for maybe four weeks. Okay, my next step will be the checking the situation inside of the gas tank. So I will open this filler and using my small light here I will be looking inside. And actually there's a lot of dirt, a small black sediment of dirt. And I can see also, and I cannot film it for you, but there is a filter. There is the first fuel filter before the line leaves the carburetor. So I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the dirt. But in this case, I have to remove the top, remove the gas tank that I'm able to pour it out. All that dirt, get rid of it. First thing, I will go and go ahead and shut off that fuel line. Using 10 millimeter socket, I will go ahead and remove these three nuts. One, two, and three. That lets me to move away the starting part. And I will be able carefully to lift the entire tank. This is fantastic design. To minimize fuel spills, I will use my little pinching fuel line pinching tool here. Here you can see it in the detail, this is the clamp. Now I will use my pliers to undo this little steel clip. So I was able to move it away and now I gently, carefully, because this is just plastic, I will try to release the fuel line. And again, carefully holding the valve, I will try to disconnect it from the valve. Once again, being very careful. And you see there's a very, very tiny, just few drops of the spill. This is great. And now I'm ready to lift entire gas tank away from the mower. And I have no fuel spills anywhere. And this is basically you can see this is the detail of the gas tank and the filter is inside. I would like to see how easily the fuel is moving out of the gas tank through this first line. So I will go ahead and release this clamp and see how good flow I have there. Oh, there's definitely no problem. The fuel is running very nicely. I will install my clamp back. Now to get rid of all that dirt which is inside of this tank, which I don't want, I will shake it really hard, make sure it's moving, and I will go ahead and really quickly pour it out. Hoping that most of it was able to get out. I'm looking in the tank, it's perfectly actually clean, that was successful. I will close it back immediately that I don't get a dust inside and I will put it aside. The next problem could be within this fuel shut-off valve and in order to make absolutely sure it will run correctly three weeks later, I need to test it. So using my Phillips screwdriver I will remove the screw which is holding it attached to this plate and here we go, the valve is free. I need to keep everything clean again before I disconnect anything, so I will clean it as much as I can. And there is the same steel clamp on the line which I have to move backwards in order to be able move this line off. It just happened. Here we go. And to test it I will hook it back to my gas tank. I will fill the gas tank with the good fuel. 
I will remove my clamp, which is stopping the fuel. And I want to see that that fuel is running out of this valve with the same speed like it was running out of the hose only. So I will open it and look, it's running really good. So the valve is working properly and there's no problem with the valve. And I will choose to install this valve back. And I will not mount it back yet. I will leave it free because unfortunately to make sure that the whole system will work perfectly next time when the owner wants to use it, I will have to go ahead and remove, check and clean the carburetor. And that will be the long procedure, so I will put it in different video. And of course that will be featured on the same auto resource channel. So please stay tuned, even better subscribe, because I have way more repair videos coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.